Hey again. So you saw the first one, which I hope you did. We we're down just before the sort of the entrance entrance. Um, which you can see if I just do that, see that thing. So I'm gonna walk you through there in a bit when we've done this one. Because it's totally worth the experience of actually walking up to it rather than just me showing you a picture of it. Uh, so we're gonna get 45 all together. Oh, there's some good stuff in there. As I said, this is a lot of stuff that you can learn this week. So it's about picking what I thought would be most helpful to the most of you. Um, we're going to go to 46.15. Now 46 is the famous, famous chapter where Moroni um, rents part of his coat and writes in memory of our God, our religion, our freedom, our peace, wives and our children. And it makes the title of liberty. And that's in verse 12. And uh, in memory is a key word there. It's like don't forget. But we're going to read verse 15 lovely Indian uh, visitors behind me there wondering what the heck I'm doing and they don't speak English and they don't know what I'm talking about anyway what a smile okay so verse 15 says and those who did belong to the church were faithful yea all those who were true believers in Christ took upon them gladly he worked gladly the name of Christ or Christians as they were called because of their belief in Christ who should come so are you a true believer of Jesus Christ are you? Um, and what is a true believer of Jesus Christ? So the term Christian was first recorded in the Old World in Acts 11.26. Old World being Jerusalem area. So we're talking New Testament. Um, but here in the New World, which is the Americas, it was used a century earlier. A whole century earlier. That's kind of cool, right? Um, so the world defines true believers in different ways. And I think any of us that have been out there and done missionary work or just mixed with other beliefs and other religions will know that the world defines Christian in different ways and everyone sort of has their own take on it um, and you may define it differently than I do but this is just what I define it as I like to define it the same way as Elder Neil A. Maxwell did and he said let the kaleidoscope of life circumstances be shaken again and again, and the true believers of Christ will still see with the eye of faith, divine design and purpose in this life. And I thought that was really awesome. So, you know, let turmoils of life come again and again and again, and true believers of Christ will still see with divine design and the purpose that this life has. Uh, and I think that really just covers it, for me anyway. Uh, and, and I kind of like, if you know what a Venn diagram is, um, again, gladly is the key word. And to keep seeking, because if you don't, then keep seeking. But I'm going to try and really badly describe a Venn diagram here. Do you know, the two circles and they intersect? I should have drawn a picture. Um, you can have, like, because not all members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are true believers. And then there's people who are not members of this church, and they are true believers. So you've got, like, say, other religions and... Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and they intersect. And that bit in the middle, that's true believers of Christ. So, you know, where are you sitting in all this? And how do you define it? I'd love to know. If you want to comment, let me know. That's how I define it. Okay, so, I'm going to walk you through here, because it's kind of cool. Come with me. This is really cool. So, we walk through this one. Very Chinese design. I think it's like the 10th to 12th Sun Dynasty, the free historian type people. I don't know, we just think it's cool. So, if you can see through here. Now, watch this, this is cool. Okay, now put you right in front of me where my face is. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Oh, you're getting a sneak peek through there. So, we're gonna go through ooh, 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 that way i'm gonna go through there and do the next couple well three or two but yeah that's so cool in here it's like all overgrown and it's like this what's really cool about this though is that it's like this all times of the year and you can get some sweet ass photos standing there looks really awesome and also there's a good selfie spot like right here so if you're ever visiting again two places for really good photos and see it's even pretty up that way where we came from okay 